Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Brothers, uh, thank you so much. I would like to take just a few minutes out of your time. We have our brother and guest visitor, Dr. Ahmed. Please, can you, uh, brothers, can you remain seated? Can you sit down a little bit? Can you give me a few minutes? I will tell you this. You were able to fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just five more minutes and won't kill you. I promise. <laughs> so let's just give a two, three minutes to our guest visitor to share a message with us. The little one, the young one, you can go and get yourself served. So you can get out of the way. The very little ones, inshallah. But just give us a five minute out of your time, inshallah. Ah, yes, he was being, being generous. He said three minutes, five is too much. So what I'm going to do is sit with you Assalamu alaikum I want to thank all of you for making dua for me, for praying for my health. I am very much uh, grateful to you and we have been coming here with my son Zubair and uh, you know he has a good news to share. You can tell yourself that you are getting married. <laughs> and it is like awesome. weird. <laughs> and also he's ready to give any recommendation letters if you want uh, him to write letters for students who want to join medical school. We have sisters who help us. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair sisters who are helping us in taking the vital signs. And we have Dr. Ahmedullah Siddiqui, he is the professor of uh, many universities. You can take the help to how to join journalism and political science. He's a very well known uh, professor of journalism. And mashallah, we all thank you. And also, alhamdulillah, salatu ala rasulullah. Uh, at the same time, I want to request you more than me, more than my family, everybody, if you want to pray for Palestinian brothers who are sacrificing their lives. May Allah bless them with highest rewards. And they are standing for us. They are standing for the cause of justice and peace. And Allah bless them all. And we have to do our best to at least pray for them and do something and be politically active and be engaged in civil activities, civil uh, engagements. Jazakallah khair. One minute for Zubair. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, just wanted to, I just wanted to take one second out and just say salam to everyone. And you know, I've been coming here for a few years now, and I just really appreciate all the love that I get every time. Um, I'm just gonna reiterate the things that I say all the time um, that I see in the African American community. A lot of health issues that happen has to do with non-compliance and not following up, not having a PCT. The rate of diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, all of these things are silent killers in this community. So it's very yes. important to have that follow-up. Thank you. The other, one more, uh, one more thing. Uh, since today was the primary election, I want to see sh uh, a show of hands. How many people went to vote today or previously before this? Can I get a show of hands? How many people have voted here? Alhamdulillah, we have a few, few hands. But at the same time, we have a lot of improvement that we need to take uh, ourselves into accountability, whether it's awareness or not. The issue is that we have a lot of people who are in power and they're representing you. They're using your tax dollars and they're speaking on your behalf. So it's just very important that we uh, make sure that we're active, we're voting, and we're we're keeping these people accountable. Your representatives are just like you. They're human beings. They're not first, they're not, you know, angels or anything like that. We have to keep them accountable. Be in their offices, call their phone numbers, get involved, see who is actually representing your voice. So 
Uh, with that, I, I apologize. I know everyone's <laughs> stomach is rumbling, so I'll, I'll end with that. So I appreciate your time. You are able to hold yourself out for 10 hours. So five, 10 minutes is not going to cause anyone a problem. Two minutes, Ahmed Allah Siddiqui will finish. So, Shabab Kulluhum Arif Arabiya, MashaAllah, I'm Maksud Minkum, with a Shakir Mikunam, with a Shakir Shukran Min Galbi. Shukran. I will just say, Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. It's a beautiful masjid, and I know Sheikh Usman for the last 20 years. But I don't know whether he didn't want me to come or Allah brought me finally over here. But I'm very happy to see all of you and this beautiful masjid and this beautiful community. May Allah bless you. May Allah accept your Ramadan. May Allah give all of us Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. And may Allah make us healthy and happy, inshallah. Zakila Khair, please proceed to the food. So, so the doctors will be here, they are not going until they see each, every, each and every one, whoever wants to receive. The women's size as well, you can talk to them, you can let them know whatever medical issue you are having. They can give you advice, even you know, write a prescription for you. So the doctor is not going to be able to do it, but it is not going to be able to do it. It is not going to be able to do it. Okay?
to have to complete the fasting. Allah who feed him, Allah who give him the drink. So if during your fasting in the daytime, so you forget, you eat some food and you forget you drink some water or some juice. So the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi while you forget, so you have to complete your fasting. Complete your fasting, Allah will feed you, Allah will give you drink. So this many, if you forget or you don't know, so this not break your fasting. So, and the fasting, what you break the fasting, you say to sleep with the wife, this break the fasting. So, break the fast the husband and the wife, except if the wife, the husband force her. If they force her, his fast, they are fasting, not break. But the husband, the fast is break. And al istiqa al istiqa meaning vomiting. Vomiting? Vomiting is you vomiting yourself. So some, some people, they make yourself vomiting. So if you do that, your fasting is break. So accept if the vomiting force you. No, by yourself, but the vomiting force you. So you cannot control it. So your fasting is good. But if yourself, you let yourself vomiting, you put your finger on your, your, your mouth until you vomit, your fasting is big. Okay. So the thing that break the fast to the period of female or and the fast or the, the, the fasting. But about to al hijama there are big differences between ulama. Al hijama is cupping. So to go to to hijama, they put a cup in your back and take some of blood, bad blood from your body. So ulama, some of ulama say it is direct the fast, some of them say no. So because they are hadith, after al hajim wal mahjum. So this means the person who do the action is fasting is great. And the person, this action happen on him on, or here, his fasting is uh, great. It's broken. The Prophet said that in the hadith, but in this hadith, so some ulama say the hadith is authentic, some of them say it's not authentic. Anyway, so if you know that if you do, you, you do the cupping, you will be so weak, you will be so weak until you get sick, then you break your fast. It's better don't do the cupping during the day time of Ramadan. You have to wait until night, so then you do your cupping if you need to do cupping. So this cupping is pyjama. And from the, the thing can bring the fasting, so something they replace eating or they replace drinking. Like uh, some kind of medicine or some of uh, uh, what is the uh, thing? thing. Fusion, some of the fusion. So if we can place the, the food in your blood, then drink the fasting. So if the thing like this is not cannot replace the, the, the food, it's not drink the fasting. And there are something the ulama have differed between them about that. Like you put the medicine of eyes in your eyes or on your ear. So all these 
will not break the fasting. They will not break the fasting. Or the people have difficult to, to breathe. They put the spell on their mouth. These two, as ulama say, not break the fasting. And to take some from your blood to test. So they will not break the fasting. And there are some kind of medicine you put in your mouth and you throw up out. It's not really the first thing why you don't go to your stomach. So he say anyone in need to save the life, someone will die in front of you. So you are fasting, you are very weak, so you have, you want to, to take some, you have to, you want to have some energy to save the life, it's allowed to you to break, to break your fasting, to save a life. And from the rule of fasting, if someone someone he kiss his wife or his uh, slave woman, so if he can control himself, he can be macro but not break the fasting. So and from the rule too, if someone is sleep, sleep and during daytime of Ramadan, so he dream and that dreaming and the sleeping is not fast. The so, no, not break the fasting. So while you was sleeping and you dream, even anything happened this dream, this is not break your fasting and if someone is sleep with his uh, wife at night of Ramadan then he don't take shower until after after Fajr so he can eat his sahur and go take shower and pray Fajr so the fasting is good so this is in the hadith or that in hadith from Aisha or Umm Salama, that was doing that. So, he did with his wife during the night time of Ramadan. So, he did that shower until after Al Fajr. After Fajr, he did shower, then he do fasting to complete his fasting. So, the Janaba, no, break your fasting while happen at night. And anyone was uh, sleeping with his uh, wife during the night time of Ramadan. So, and when the time comes, he's still doing, have to stop. If not, his fasting is, uh, is broke. If he doesn't stop after the whole fajr, his fasting is broke and he has to make tawba and pay the kafar because he did a part of time of fasting. So, you know, he was he start at night, but he don't finish until after al fajr. So when the fajr come, have to stop doing. If we not stop doing. He has to pay kafara and have made, made a tawbah to return to Allah. So, and pay kafara to siyamu shahrayni mutatabi'ayn or to the slave or to 64 people, as we say yesterday. And 
anyone he made him, himself so as his friend come out from him during the daytime of Ramadan so this, his fasting is brief after to make tawbah and pay that day after Ramadan so the ulama did not say kafara mughallada the kafara about that some people they look at uh, female for a long time and thinking of female until his uh, he did something bad so when happened that so his fasting is brief but he have to pay after Ramadan and make tawbah and he have to stop eating and drinking in the rest of the day and not kafara muhallada not have kafara for, for that so some people they play with themselves okay. but they think about the women they think about the women until they, I don't know how I say the spring come out from him so if, if this happens if this happens so this person have to get over and hold himself from eating and drinking and the rest of his day and pay after Ramadan but not kafara the kafara is to, to, to fasting two months or three days left or did 60, 40 people did not on him so did not on him while he did not sleep with his wife he do by himself he was thinking or he played with himself, himself. so the ulama say maybe some people was doing that Okay, we say that, we say that right now. Oh, when he sleep, he have dream. What is the dream? Was dreaming. So this, while he was dreaming, he was sleeping, he is not dreaming, he is fasting. So when he wake up, he make a uh, take shower, he pray, and he continue his uh, uh, fasting. Because it's still good. Even that is happen in daytime of Ramadan. And there are things, in the fasting, some people they think that this thing is a great day fasting, that a wood, wood brush. The wood brush, they said it is not allowed to the person as well. Not allowed to a person who in the, in the fasting to brush his teeth. This is not true. So, he can brush his uh, mouth even before uh, midday or after midday because some of ulama say before midday is allowed but after midday no all this is not authentic the authentic one is can brush his uh, mouth by swag every time any time any time swag the toothbrush the past yes. so this if you know you can use it without to blow it it's okay, but if you know, you cannot control yourself. Baby is blowing, you not allow to use that because you break your fasting. So for the time, you stop here. The doctor was here today. Therefore, we just start early. So, inshallah, next week, continue. Allah alam. Salihah Masallim ala Muhammadin. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So no time for question because the time is very close. Four minutes, you pray, Isha. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.